Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here with Creative Play Podcast Network. Welcome back to... Hashtag RPG a day 2018. Are you tired of listening to me talk to you about this? I'm not. Because, you know, I, I'm just not. And we are starting week four. We have made it. It's week four. Had some internet issues. Had some uh, the monsoons have hit Arizona. So we, we've... Afternoon internet is apparently spotty, even with the best internet in town. So week four. Which? All the questions this week are which? And not the witch with the, with the pointy hat. So... Which game mechanic inspires your play the most? You guys have heard me talk to to you about the uh, Star Wars Fantasy Flight games, Narrative Dice, the Genesis Dice. Pretty much it's that mechanic. I love the fact that in the game systems mechanic, it breaks down the success, failure, advantage, disadvantage, and then you have the, the wild cards of triumph or despair. I love the fact that it gives tears to what can happen in your game because uh, I do feel stymied in games that have the success or fail. You swing your sword, you hit, you swing your sword, you miss. Where can you get the extra flavor? And I love with narrative dice, players get to spend the advantage so they can describe what they do. Do they push and get an extra maneuver? Do they tell a friend to come this way and get an extra maneuver? Do they put you at a disadvantage so you duck and your friend, their friends get an advantage or you have been ducking from blaster fire and have a negative dice. You know, it, it adds an extra narrative to it, which I really do love because, you know, you guys know I, I love the concept of fail forward. Narrative dice let you fail forward because, oh, it sucks. We failed. I missed. I didn't do this thing. I didn't hack the computer. But I have advantage so I can give my teammates a boost. So it's almost like that that bit where, you know, in Star Wars, there's many of those little bits where they fail at something, but Han Solo chasing the stormtroopers in the detention center. All of a sudden, he failed to uh, run them off because, you know, he rolled a despair and there's a battalion of stormtroopers, but he had some advantage, so he got a free maneuver to get back to the group in time and then shot the door because, you know, that's, that's the way Star Wars tech works. If the door's open and you shoot the control panel, it closes. If it's closed and you shoot it, it opens. So I I would have to say the Genesis slash Fantasy Flight Star Wars games game mechanic with the narrative dice because it's a smooth, simple system. It's one purple, two purple, three purple, four, if you you go to really hard. So it's a rank of one to four for difficulty. And then you can upgrade the dice just like players can upgrade their dice. So you have NPCs that upgrade the negative dice. And, And the beauty is your players will be rolling the difficulty and the skill that they have in the dice. So that way it's less, it's not like a, a contested roll for the most part. It's a you roll everything, which I'm a huge fan of that. That's one thing like with the cipher system I like is that it's GMs don't have to roll dice, which is cool. It, it, it's less of the I get to narrate and less of the, the dice pooling, which, you know, that's, that's my thing. Besides, I love Star Wars. I love Genesis. And I'm not a fan of the settings of Realm of Terranoth. But I love the fact that they now have a fantasy RPG, which at risk I'll be running the Slaying of the Dragon Queen. Basically a bunch of really high level Realm of Terran enough characters will be killing a evil Dragon Queen who has a bunch of hybrid dragon people. I won't say Dragonborn because that's a, that's a Wizards of the Coast thing, right? And um, 
the the group is going to have to put them down and save a blacksmith from the group. It's it's going to be fun, especially introducing a lot of the folks to that. So that's the dice mechanic that inspires me the most. Alrighty, guys. Oh, and I will throw it out there as a caveat. Another one that, that definitely inspires me is the uh, the light side, dark side points that you can use as players and GMs to upgrade things. I, I probably should have thrown that in because that is kind of the, part of the dice mechanic that you can flip a light side point if you're a player or a dark side if you're the GM to improve the odds of your dice roll or make a minor, like in the fate system, a minor declaration of the scene. Like, yes, we had a gas mask, or yes, I have a spare magazine for my blaster. So, yeah, that's also part of it. I definitely love because that makes the dice system roll magically. Alrighty, guys, I'll go ahead and let you go. And thank you for listening to hashtag RPG a Day 2018, August the 20th. Which game mechanic inspires your play the most? Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a dungeon crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. Dungeoncrate.com. Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.